Hey YouTube, it's Monica. Today I just want to show you a little bit about what we're doing with our math. Um, I'm using Right Start Math and I'm just going to go through a lesson with you and show you what it's like. The lesson that we are going to do, I, it does look like a little much, but it's really not. You just got to get used to it. I like it. So I literally, I just go through it. So Miss Munchkin, how much is three plus three? How much is three times two? Six. How much is four plus four? Eight. How much is four times two? Eight. Good. How much is nine plus nine? Eight. How much is nine times two? Eight. Did you, did, can you tell what I was doing there? Basically the same thing, but a different way of saying it, right? Okay, how much more is needed with 85 to make 95? One. Now I want to make 95, but I've started with 85. How Ten. much? Ten. Good girl. Um, how much more is needed with 72 to make 80? I want to get all the way up to 80. Um, eight. Yeah, good job. Um, can you add 25 plus 25? 50. Good. 50 plus 50? 99 plus 4? 99 plus 4. 99 plus 4. I know. Oh, okay. 100. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So if you have 99 plus 4, just you're just going to take that one away from that 4 and give it to the 99, right? That's a little easier if you think of it like that. Um, you're going to do, do something similar here. 95 plus 15. So what are you going to give to the 95? You got 95. What do you want to make it into? A 5. Yeah, you want to make it to a what? 100, right? Okay, so it's 95 plus 15. So what's it going to be? Yeah, good job. Um, oh, here's an interesting question that they're asking. You know, sometimes they ask interesting questions. Where is it? Oh, I hit this one. Which amount needs only one coin? So basically, another way of saying that, or how, how much are the different coins? So what are the different coins and how much are they worth? Uh-huh. A uh, dime five? No. <laughs> yeah. A uh, nickel five? Uh-huh. A uh, penny one? Mm-hmm. Quarter twenty-five? Mm -hmm. um, half, half, half a dollar? Yeah. 50. Good girl, good girl. And there are, you know, there are dollar coins, too. But we don't really. We don't really use this very much. Okay. I um. Yeah, I Uh-oh. We need the abacus. Go get the abacus. So we're just going on to the next thing. It says, um, enter 5 times 7 on the abacus. So show me what 5 times 7 would look like. How do you want to do it? Yeah, I think it's almost easier. So how much is that? Good job, babe. Um... And you know how to write that? Five times seven? Okay, so just go ahead and write five times seven. Good job. Very good, very good. Okay, can you write um, six times five? And what does that equal? There you go. Perfect. So you got 30. So um, let's see. Marlo had this worksheet 
yesterday, and basically it's just these multiplication problems. And I didn't, I wasn't paying close attention, and I had her do the whole thing, and it didn't take her a long time. So we're going to just skip forward to this. This is kind of fun. Tell the child that he can check the solution of the worksheet with a math balance. Tell the child to think how he can enter five times two. Okay, so now what we want to do, sweetie, is to try to enter um, five times two. So what does five times two equal? Five two. Mm-hmm. And what does it equal? Mm -hmm. What's another way to say that instead of five twos? Mm -hmm. So you should, yeah, you just tell me what you think. Hmm, so we got a five and a two. Oh, so your whole equation. 5 times 2 equals 10. The whole equation we need to see on here. Okay? It, it needs, you need to kind of see the whole thing on here in a way. So the way that you were doing it, the last thing I paused it was she did a, f a 5 and 2 ones. Um, the neat thing about this program is it has you... And I, I see there's no there's no nothing that looks like 10 on here is there nothing that looks like it could be interpreted as 10 does it so anyway they're having us sometimes they have us do visualization with the abacus and today we're doing with this okay so let's see if you can think of a way to say 5 times 2 equals 10 and make it look like that's what you're doing okay okay wait a sec wait a sec let's see we didn't check to make sure that it was yeah so that's pretty much it so we have two fives, five times two, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it does equal 10. What about five times five equals 25? So how many fives do you need? Marlo, how many fives do you need? Only five. Five, well, I only see two fives on this side equals two fives. Yeah, they do equal. Okay, five times two, five times three, five times four. Five times five. So there's five fives now. So so now what you have is see Blake, can you can you um help her out because it's a little it's new to her. What equation is this right now? Is is this equal? No. It well, then what is it? It's well this is more. So is go on. Is it bigger? Isn't you don't say bigger than, what do you say? 5 times 5 is? Bigger than. Greater than. Greater than 5. Greater than 5. But we want 5 times 5 equal. So when I say equal, it, it has to look like this. This is greater than. We need it to be equal. So equals 25. It's also another way to put a 25 in there. Okay. Now this is fair enough, Marlo, because you can't, there is no 25 to put it on, right? So you had to make 25, and that's what you did. Okay. Um, in, in the book, though, they did it a different way. They made their 25 with the biggest numbers possible, so they did this. You see how that's 25? We got 10, 20, and then we have 5. Okay? <laughs> so some of these, um, the, the reason why they do it... Um, Sometimes they use the abacus like we used in the very, very beginning. Sometimes they use a scale. is because for different kids, um, they're going to understand it in different ways. So we're going to do one more, I think. Um, okay, so let's do 7 times 4 equals 28. And it's our last one. <laughs> and you already did all of your worksheet yesterday. 7 times 1, 7 times 2, 7 times 3, 7 times 4. So let's do what they did and use like 10s and stuff, okay, to make our 28 over here. Why are you taking those off? Just making a meter? Okay. Remember, we're going to use the 10s to make our 28. Twenty. Okay. So, what is this equation, Blake? Right now. 
seven times seven times seven times four is greater than twenty. Then twenty, right? Seven times four is greater than twenty. So we're gonna make it seven times four equals twenty eight. So equals it needs to be balanced. There we go. Marla, what's that equation that you made? Times well, well, no, seven what? What's this? Seven. Seven four. Seven. Well, no, it's four sevens. Four sevens. So you say um, seven times four. Seven times four equals eighty. Twenty. Yeah, because we have our two ten. All right, Missy. Good job. Thank you.